Yo dog, Katie Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up with another tutorial this week. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but you guys have been so helpful and have helped me learn this process so rapidly that I just actually, turns out I can actually film tutorials a lot easier than I thought I could around my commission process. A lot of the stuff I'm dropping on Wednesdays is my older stuff that I had just, you know, when I was muddling through the process. This stuff like the Blood Angel stuff, that's my new heat. That's because of you guys. You guys taught me how to do this in such a way that I can bring it out quicker, higher quality, more concise, better storytelling, all of it. Thank you. It has been meaningful. And please hit me up in the comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong because that's even more important than complimenting me. Though, thanks for complimenting me. I need to know the things I can improve upon. You guys have already taken me very far. I've got one quick shout out. New patron on Patreon. I got Anders Sanders. He has been my most recent patron. Thank you, you're a patron of the arts. And please swing by my Patreon page if you got some time. If not, literally, it's all good. Uh, but the, you know, the more money, the faster I can you know, get this thing going. I've already ordered a couple of clutch pieces of equipment. I've already got Robbie B coming up here, dropping some new stuff off. We got some new things coming up. The Long War. You guys have seen some stuff and ho hopefully today a trailer has dropped for you guys, another one. Please, if you can, scoot over to that channel and give us a subscription. It matters a lot for everything in the future. In the meantime, let me let you guys take a look at this quick tutorial I put together. All right, guys, let's knock this tutorial out. Where I left, we had just blocked in the colors partially on all of the scouts and mostly on just the sergeant. So as you can see here, I'm just going in, slapping the black on, doing my thing, you know, just using that Vallejo Air Black, which I can't say enough good things about. I already showed you guys in the last video which colors these were. Just go back and check it out. It was uh, Blood Angels Airbrushing Tutorial Part 1. I will link that here in the descriptions. Just real quick, you know, putting on the black, just getting the boots, nothing, nothing special. Uh, Vallejo Air Black is my favorite black. It goes on better than any black does with a paintbrush, you know, ever. Like, it's just so so good it's also got a satin to it like it's got depth i love it go out buy some vallejo air black you will thank me later for it it is amazing you can see i'm coming in hitting the little straps doing the thing you know knocking out those little belt buckles and whatnot like just basic stuff you know with these scouts being kind of a headache you're gonna want to just do the work hit the, hit the little extra details look they're not tactical marines. tactical marines are easy as pie man you know Scouts are a little bit of a bitch, and I hate them. <laughs> no, I don't really hate them. I love them because they're only 55 points a unit. That's a really good investment in today's Codex world. Uh, you can also infiltrate and scouts at the same time. Back in the day, you had to do one or the other. So there's a lot of cool builds with uh, Sentinels of Terra, Bolter scouts, infiltrating and scouting and getting a million Bolter rounds, you know, twin link to rapid fire range on turn one. Scouts are good. But uh, these are Blood Angel Scouts. These are just here to give me a Sanguinary Priest. Okay, so I've jumped onto the next step here. You guys saw me do this before. I'm using Vallejo uh, Black Metal. Yet yet again, like I said, I, I broke all this down in the last video. Uh, just coming through, knocking it out. And like one of the differences in my videos and other people's videos is I absolutely show you guys, if I'm painting a squad, I'm gonna paint a squad. I'm not gonna paint the one guy. Uh, this is just kind of a oasis in the middle of this commission guy I wanted to add five scouts plus a sanguinary priest on bike so I figured I'd just pull out the camera and show you guys how I would paint five scouts and a sanguinary priest real quick uh, but I'll never I'm never gonna sit there and just pull this one guy out and like do my master class on this guy no next level painting process is about using the right techniques it's about marrying quantity with quality so you'll see here this is the the quantity stage right I'm slapping on this 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 metal everywhere I think it needs to go and in some places it might be considered lazy to put it because I will come back and I will I will address these things see I'm hitting the little things on the back all those little dials and all those little dealies I'm completely slathering their bolt their bolt pistols in it and their little combat knives you know just get it on there because we will wash this and we I will wash it in this video this is a long video I'm hitting you guys hard today so just strap in and, and 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 watch this you know so like i said you know just nitty gritty i don't i'm not gonna cut I'm, I'm i'm doing this really fast but i'm not gonna cut a lot out 
Super simple though, you can see, there's, there they are. They're mainly blocked in, you know, just their basic clothes details. Going back to that uh, Privateer Bronze, it's a uh, molten bronze. It's my, one of my favorite, like, basically bronze, copper, or gold, they're all the same freaking color, man. Like, literally, they're light gold, dark gold, and medium gold. That's how I look at those colors. So this is a bronze, but I use it as a gold. I'm coming back in with that black after the uh, bulk of metal dried, and I'm painting the casing in on these uh, little bulk pieces. That's kind of an important detail. Just do it, you know, like, it, it, they're supposed to have that casing on them, even though, you know, most guns are all one color, and they're usually all black or whatever, military grade, whatever, you know. This is what they look like on the, on the cover, so I do this. And it only takes a few minutes to do, and especially since I'm gonna wash them, it'll all kind of just look good. Don't even worry about it. But uh, it's important to do the, the me I always do the metal first, like paint them completely metal. Don't play around trying to knock the metal details out after painting the black, just paint the casing around the black. That's super easy. You know, you can see, now I'm working on the faces. I'm using some of that um, bronze flesh, coming in, just slapping it on. And uh, I'm gonna do them all really quick and they're gonna gonna—they're not even gonna be totally dry by the time I come back in with the elf flesh. It just kinda blend it into the, the ridges of their face and their nose and et cetera. Not like really intensely blended, like I'm not gonna like smooth it out super crazy because I'm gonna wash it, detail it later. Yet again, like I said, I'll hit you that I'll hit you with that here later in the probably like the the last five minutes of this video. Maybe I don't even know. So yeah, just um, this is a real paint by number stage. This is uh, this is all about the airbrush laid down the transition on the reds that we would never want to do with a paintbrush. With a scout, this is why this is interesting because scouts are more hand painting than airbrushing. Always, but still use the airbrush to get those transitions. You'll never, like on their gloves, on their on those little those little um, cups on the back of their boots, on their shoulders, on their chest plate. You'll never be able to do that with a paintbrush that smooth. So, I leave so leave the glove, leave all those elements red with your airbrush, like everything we showed I showed you in part one. Then you come in and you carefully paint by numbers these steps that I'm showing you. Back in the day, this would have been like how they dipped models. They would have painted all the all the other all the paint by numbers sections in and dip them. We're not gonna dip anything because we have this amazing airbrush effect that's really smooth and, and, and amazing that we don't wanna wipe that out. We don't wanna cover that and drench that in shenanigans, you know, wash. So, you know, like I said, I'm doing it real quick, just still working on the faces, doing our thing, just being patient. This video is only sped up four times. So I, I didn't want to like, I'm experimenting with uh, the speeds. Like I don't want to like go so fast. You guys can't see the paintbrush strokes. So here I'm just doing the hair. I'm doing a couple of guys with brown hair, a couple of guys with black hair, just mixing it up. It's really easy to do them all the same hair, but I try to do at least doubles of two of them, uh, but still at least three different types of hair. Super simple, come through, knock it out. Like I said, be aggressive. You know, even if you accidentally get some black on the skin, no big deal. You'll just come back and wipe it out. This is definitely like, don't get, don't be too, um, what am I, what was the word I'm looking for? Don't, <laughs> don't get nervous. You can fix anything. You know, the only thing you need to be careful about is don't get this, splash this color on your airbrush. Anything you airbrush, like that is, that'll be hard to fix. You can see here. Yo know, guys, now you can see that I did these five uh, five scouts all done up. Let me just show you guys real quick. Let me freeze this up. You can see the, all their little all the little pouches are painted. Uh, you know, I did all their all their little basic details. I even actually skipped a step. I forgot to show you guys. Um, forgot to tell you that I had actually went back and painted all their pouches with camo green. Uh, forgot to turn turn the camera. My bad. So we're gonna hit you with this. Um, known oil or, or, or earth shade, sorry, I'm gonna hit you with the, the brown wash, basically, I just call it brown wash. I'm gonna go through, hit the pants, hit all the, hit all the pouches, hit, hit all the, 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 the cloth, I'm even gonna hit the face, everything. I'm just gonna go beast mode with this wash. This is part of the process. This is the, this is kind of like, this is how I create the final, like, pay by numbers effect. This will show me what else I need to highlight. This is a very important process. 
you know, I'll toggle back and forth between this and black wash, aka known oil. I'll decide what need what what what, what quantities these are both of them. Sometimes I mix them together to darken one. It just uh, wash, get your wash game tight. Like play around with washes, they're really good. So yeah, see now I'm gonna pull out that known oil. And I like to stick the known oil all over the uh, the metals. Uh, but, but in some cases, I like to kind of just put a little bit of oil in with the, the brown wash. So that way I can, you know, create more contrast. Like I said, contrast is the name of the game. This is just a simple process. This is the this is the quantity, absolute quantity level. Like this is the final, like, marriage of quantity and quality next level paint style. We're going to come back and do some highlights, obviously. On the, on the flesh and on the pants and everything. But this is gonna do ha half the work, maybe more. And we're just gonna do a couple of subtle highlights. It's gonna come out really classy. It's gonna look good, it's gonna look clean, and it's gonna look realistic. And then we're gonna, it's gonna be offset by the, the really nice red we do with the airbrush. Super, super easy. Like I said, this is like, if I was gonna show a beginner how to paint Blood Angels, this is how I would show you. Like, this is the easy, the, I've got a much more advanced ways of doing this that have more powdery reds or more intense reds or darker reds. This is like day one, if you buy an airbrush, I feel like you can do this right now. You can make this, you can make these five scouts today after watching this video. So at least that's my hope. <laughs> Hit me up in the description box with some uh, links to your work. Um, Please, I would love to see what you guys are doing with these tutorials because I do do enjoy making them. Very fun. Uh, like you say, I'm going to show you every single one of them. I'm going to show you how fast. Like, th this this process is kind of fun too. Like, um, I like to turn my my music on here, just jam out. You know, like this is this is kind of a relaxing thing. Like not like you, since you're seeing a lot happen, like a lot of it's like someone just put like. Someone just tweak the contrast filter on your, like on your models. Like all of a sudden your models start looking like they're coming to life and it's really enjoyable stage in the model. Especially when you get them all done to this, this level and then you start washing them all together. It is just enjoyable that you finally get to see the models sharpen as it were, you know? Like, it, like, like if you use Photoshop, it's basically like someone just hit the sharpen filter or tweak the contrast and brightness filters. Uh, it's very fun. Took me a while to figure all this out. Hopefully you guys don't have to go through the same pains that I had to go through this <laughs> This has been years in the making So We're getting ready to move on to the next stage here. I'll prep you guys for it um, Highlight As you can see the wash finds the, the recesses it settles in the recesses and creates kind of a darkness there it'll also kind of Disperse on the on the raised surfaces and maybe create a subtle a subtle blend. If you do if you manipulate the wash correctly and you get clean with it, you'll get a pretty nice blend and a pretty nice matted effect. So you can assume that what we painted was the mid tone. The wash is the dark tone, and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna hit it with a light tone, like a little bit of highlight layer. So as long as you remember that, like that, like this is not done. This is just finding the dark area very fast very realistic and very simple. It also gets into some of the areas that you that you might have like left a little red there because you were moving fast. It'll like completely conceal that. It'll let you move faster and still at the same level of quality. So I, I and you can see in a couple states places here I've mixed a little known oil in with the known oil in with the brown wash on their faces to create just a little bit of darkness to the face. Like I wanted sometimes like sometimes faces don't have as much detail as you want them to have. So you're gonna have to just, you have to like fake it. And so adding a little bit of black to the brown wash helps fake it big time. So we're almost done with uh, washing these guys. And uh, you know, you, and also here's a trick too. Like I know, I know you don't see it very easily here, but like when I'm washing like the Aquila on the guy's chest, I try to let a little bit of the wash separate the brown, I mean the, uh, the red from the gold. Like just kind of give you a little border there gives you a little bit more of that contrast, sharpens it up. It also gives me uh, an air, uh, separator. Like I know that this is like where I want to come back in with maybe a brown and continue that. Like I said, this is this is like, the best way to explain this is it's, it's paint by numbers, man. It's showing you what you have to do next. And you'll see here, I'm gonna pull out that elf skin tone. 
that I've used uh, already as our highlight. And I'm gonna come in there and highlight again. I'm gonna find the little brow ridges, the little chins that poke out, the tops of the nose, the cheekbones. I'm just gonna quickly just drop a couple of highlights off, man. Just like double down on that. Like we did a mid-tone. We hit the 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 the, 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 the shadow layer with the, the washes. And now we're coming back and doing the highlight again. And just creating maximum contrast. As you can see, it's I mean they're coming out pretty good, man. Can't really complain. Uh, just real simple, like I said, you can see just this is this is what I kept when I kept saying paint by numbers. Now it's truly saying like elf flesh to all one areas, you know? And the ones would be the brow ridges and et cetera, et cetera. So now what I'm doing is I'm using some of this color on their pants too. Like I just did a couple of quick streak highlights on their pants just to kind of give them that, that final look. You can see here I'm coming in. Uh, looks like I'm using the camo green on their pouches now, like that I showed you in the, in the earlier video that I forgot to, uh, that I forgot to show you. So I'm just using Gretchen green and I'm highlighting just a couple of quick spots on their camo, on their pouches, just real fast, you know? Um, so that was, I mean, like you saw how quick all that was. So now, <laughs> that was so fast. So now I'm painting their little uh, lenses and their scopes, something that's easy to overlook. I'm using Arcane Blue. I'm just coming through, painting the little scopes, the, the little, uh, whatever they are, scouters from Dragon Ball Z on their faces. <laughs> Coming through, just give yourself a little bit of a cool new little detail that a lot of people leave off. Coming in, painting the visor, everything, you know? It's, uh, this is kind of a process. The more details you could do with, even though each one of these is pretty easy to do, the more of them you can do, the more complete your model will appear. So once we get all these uh, lenses down, we're gonna blend some white in with the Arcane Blue and kind of do a quick little wet blend, simple, a uh, little drop, a little couple of white dots into the uh, scouters and try to blend a white streak into the scope, giving you the illusion of, you know, glossy blue reflective material, you know, basically what, what my, what a comic book's idea of a scope would look like, essentially, you know, nothing, nothing too realistic here try to keep my colors fresh and cartoony as it were. But uh, yeah, this is this is, this is is probably one of the most advanced things we're doing in the model, and hilariously, it's the simplest, uh, I mean the smallest area. Just having to blend it back and forth. Now we're gonna take the burnish gold. GW, I bought a stock of these. Just gonna lightly just dry brush them and drag it across the molten bronzed Aquilas that we washed. Like I said, the molten bronze was the neutral, the mid-tone, the wash was the shadow. And now this is the highlight. It's three levels. I mean, it, it just comes, it's so quick. It comes out antique and realistic looking. It gives you that final contrast that you need to make it, to make it look convincing. To make, you know, I mean, this, like I said, this is this is the next level process right here. This is like when everyone's like, yo, how'd you paint all those guys this week? You know, how'd you paint a whole army in, in 10 days? These are the techniques that it's taken me four years to develop. You see, like I wasn't happy with that burnished gold as the final highlight. So I used a little bit of uh, Vallejo Air Steel and I'm just going one more time really lightly over. Now I'm taking some of that burnt umber and I'm cutting in right under the Aquila where it meets this red armor and creating another border where the wash sat. Just, I guess that was the world's quickest study in dry brushing right there. Went through and dry brushed some uh, some of the swords. Uh, now I'm painting some, uh, gray, it looks like some uh, Vallejo Air Gray into the, uh, some of the black areas, just creating a highlight on the boots, on the straps, and even in the hair. Super quick. Sorry I had to condense all that last, um, the, all, all that stuff in the end there. I mean, we already have a really long video, so I didn't wanna linger on it too hard, but here they are. This is essentially what they'll look like. I might have a few more highlights that I'll show you guys here in a minute, but that was the process. And here they are, guys. Five Blood Angel Scouts, some really basic bases, gravel rocks, leaves, seal coated. I dropped a couple of extra highlights in on the armor. Um, I feel like I probably should have recorded that, but you know, <laughs> I'm swamped. Anyway, man, thanks for checking out this tutorial.
Thanks for watching that, guys. Um, I hope that was easy to follow. I hope I didn't leave too many things out. Like I said, this is my process, getting it down, getting it down. Thank you, guys. Um, remember, check me out. Check out all the links, uh, subscriptions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And thank you for watching, players. Yo, dog, don't forget, tutorials drop every Wednesday. Here are a few tutorials I've done in the past. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Spiky Bits on YouTube. Rob Bear is dropping some sick tutorials over there. And please check out The Long War, our new heat.